power. There, there were times in the recent history of the church, even today in some places, where it is not in fashion to be faithful to the Catholic Church. Uh, there are many places, even inside the Catholic Church, where taking positions that are staunchly Catholic will get you a rough reception. Could even get you fired from your job. You know, people, people are tr try to say that they are uh, pro-choice in Catholic. Well, I'll give you one. You know, well, I'm a good Catholic. You know, I, I, I've heard some so-called Catholic politicians say this one. As long as we're talking about the truth, might as well talk about it. Oh, well, I'm a good Catholic. I'm Catholic, but I'm pro-choice. Happy horse manure. Ain't no such thing. You can't be pro-choice and Catholic. Period. You can't. That's impossible. Can't do it. Forget that. Man, wake up and smell the roses. You're, gonna, you, you, you're telling me you, you can uh, condone killing the most innocent in what should be the safest place in the universe for them, their own mother's womb? You're saying you can condone that, support that, promote that, and be a good Catholic? You are out of your mind if you think that. That is totally inconsistent with Catholicism or Christianity of any authentic kind. And the politicians? who call themselves Catholic and yet vote every time for abortion, partial birth, abortion, etc. Are they Catholic? No. They can talk till they're blue in the face. What they are is excommunicated. That's what they are. But I get nobody seems to have the guts to say it. They are excommunicated in virtue of their own act. A latte sententiae excommunication. Now, a woman who knowingly and willingly procures an effective abortion, if she is aware of the canonical penalty, she incurs excommunication. Are we to believe that the politicians who foster millions of such crimes against humanity are free morally? Absolutely not. The poor woman may be scared, upset. Maybe she doesn't have knowledge. Maybe she has no support. I, I'm not against her. I sympathize with her and think everything should be done to help her. I'll, do, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. But I won't give the benefit of the doubt to the so-called Catholic politician who do everything in their power to effect the demise of the most innocent of human beings. And they are human beings. No, they're, they're, not, they're not potential human beings. They are human beings with potential. And that is an essential distinction that you have to make from the moment of conception. That's part of the truth. Oh, don't get that one wrong. You get that one wrong, it's a slippery slope right into hell, in plain English. Human life begins at conception and is sacred right to the last moments of natural life. I got a